continuous integration a ci so what is ci and uh, how it help us to uh, use in jenkins so let's try to understand ci so ci is a development methodology so it's not kind of uh, it's a tool or it's a, some specific things but it's a continuous integration development methodology a kind of things there's a things are working in different way now things are working in a different way but things are improved so quality should be improved and process should be improved towards the delivery of the customer with the proper quality so ci intro is with the new methodology where you do the continuous integration of your code and you do the continuous deployment of your code to the customer so ci is a development methodology it's kind of daily daily development integration so here whatever you do it the code in a daily it should be integrated in a common repository so that's called a ci so you, your code should be integrated with your common repository so once you do the common repository integration it should be the verification done by the automation and your code should be in a proper way so you can get your build result at a time when you do the integration with your common repository so in terms of we uh, see the uh, definition so ci is a continuation continuous integration is a development practice that require developer to integrate core in a shared repository multiple times a day so when you work anything so let's assume that you have the team size of the 10 people and 10 people are working a different module so each one are working and each one is generating the some code so that code should be submitted in the shared repository in a single so shared repository is single form and the your developer are the different so once any developer is committed his code to the shared repository it should be validated automatically for example, once the developer did the commit to in the shared repository, it should be test automatically and developer will get the immediately the response from its code. So it, whether it's a pass or fail, if it's pass, it will go for the deployment or further staging. If it's fail, it's come to again developer, developer can know immediately what he picks, what he did the in a code so because he has a fresh mindset. So that's why this continuous integration comes in the flow of the right away so it will get the immediately feedback when he's doing the code so why ci ci means get uh, ci having the get issue earlier so developer get the the response and feedback very fast and he can do the easy debug because he have the fresh mind and he knows what he did so he can easily debug and he can easily uh, fix that issue transparency of what happening so anybody can view what's happening in the common repository who is doing what and who has made the build fail or who has made the build commit so anybody can view that uh, project and you can view that what's going on in particular project automated build creation so you have the integrated your things and builds will be created automatically so no need any human interaction so in the earlier what happened we have to ask some human he will generate the build and after generate build he will deliver that build to the QA so no in CI it won't be happen with the uh, manual interaction so where CI it will be generated a code commit will be go to the say repository it will automatically generate your build and build will be generated the artifact and artifact will be goes for the testing so manage and validate artifacts the same way you can manage and validate artifacts so once your build got generated it will be deployed with the cd flow and the what further automation goes so you can easily validate your artifact will support the continuous deployment so ci is the continuous deployment supported tool supported methodology so with without ci cd won't be happen so cd and ci both should be comes in the together to make your code stable to make your customer happy because it will help to integrate your code very fast way it will help you to the deploy your code very fast way unify the system process so your system process completely unified no need any different processes because once this process is implemented everybody works in the unify process so there is a simple process that are working in the common set repository and the integration part will be done by the tool like uh, jenkins or many other are tool available for ci helps to deliver on time it's definitely because your lots of time are going to save because of the debugging issue 
uh, fixing issue and deployment so your all things are integrated with the unify 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 the process where you, the common people are working the common uh, where the all people are working the common repository doing the fixes immediately if you get the issues and the deployment flow work in the same flow ownership or own code so anybody knows is build get fail he will get the immediately trigger of the uh, mail and he, he knows the hit, uh, his code made the build fail so he can immediately fix that code so the ownership comes to individually no need to ask anybody because developer knows his code made the build fail so this is the key uh, features of the ci so what tools available for the ci so there are lots of tools available in the market kind of jenkins bamboo gitlab ci circle ci and many other tools but we will discuss here the jenkins because jenkins are most popular for the ci and cd tool